<laughs> Have fun, loser. Now that the fridge made its way up to the third floor, I know, I'm strong. We can finally start putting this kitchen back together and next up is getting countertops. In the past, we've done quartz from Ikea or laminate from Lowe's. And for this property, we think we wanna go granite and we're trying to find a place that fits into our budget. So we're heading over to a granite yard right now to meet up with a guy that a lot of local investors have recommended and hopefully we'll find something that's both pretty and fits within our budget. This is my boy Hugo here. We're here at Boss Granite and he's going to show us some slab pieces. Kind of have a color scheme in mind. He's got a ridiculous amount of selection here, so it might be here a while. So the power couple came in. And... <laughs> So we decided on this white crayer. I think it's gonna look sharp. So we're gonna bring it back, see what it looks like with our cabinets, but I think it's gonna be great. Now that we're scaling, relationships to us are key. So we're really trying to find our go-to person for all the different items. And uh, I think Hugo's gonna be it. Thanks for all the recommendations, guys. Now that we've got the fridge up here, we can really set these appliances and get the marks for where we're gonna have to do some filler pieces. Right here is gonna be the end of our range. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap some framing up here and just build basically the structural support just for the countertop. And I'll use the spacers from Ikea to cut them to size and put nice face pieces on so it gives a nice finished look from the outside. But if you were to look for it from it from the, let's say the refrigerator side where you're not going to see, you'll be able to see right up underneath it. But that's not an issue. I needed four supports for up against the wall and I just so happen to have four scrap little pieces of two by four and all four pieces fit. It's making me nervous about what's gonna go wrong today if that just worked out so well. Because IKEA doesn't provide tall enough spacers that can support a countertop with front loaders, these are a little bit too tall, I had to custom cut a support framing for the quartz countertop that we're going to be getting installed. So I will be utilizing the uh, IKEA white spacer pieces, but I'm only going to be using them for the front face portion. But I'll show you what I got going on so far. So I had to give a bit of a gap here because this is where my dryer vent goes out the wall. I will cover this up with a white piece of that IKEA spacer material. Right here, I'll put, again, just a little strip of the IKEA spacer material. And then down this side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, same thing as I did right here, just with a piece of plywood. Right on the end here, I'm going to have to extend this piece a bit. That should fit real nice. Countertop should hold on. No problems. Countertop should sit on there real nice. Like we explained before, we had an issue with this corner where none of the lowers that IKEA offered fit there. So for the support for the countertop, we fabricated this. <laughs> and what we have to do is we have to cover now all of these unfinished parts with a finished panel. This is one of the ends that this is covered in a finished panel. This is just a protective plastic that is not the color of the panel. But this one will be the next one and it'll look like it's a nice finished paneling between the washer dryer when really it's just a plywood support for the countertop and a fabricated piece of spacer essentially. I'm trying to think what the best and strongest way would be to attach these. Now these sit back 
pretty far from the front of the appliances. So there should be no reason why anybody's bumping into them, grabbing them, pulling on them. So instead of trying to set some construction adhesive on there, which takes a good amount of time to really set and, and get hard, this is a pretty sweet tool. And it's just basically like a man's hot glue gun. This sets up almost immediately. So that's how I'm putting these face plates on. So let's see how it works. Downstairs, this is how we sort it out. Oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> Have fun, loser! Victory is sweet. Look at that walk. My biggest pet peeve is when you bring up finished, like finished things, and they just use it as a table. This is so annoying. I hate this. Clean it up. I love the spacers. I think they look great. Now that the spacers are in, I can finish putting the fronts on. Just got down to the house and we're starting finished plumbing today and my plumber is here already. So let's go check and see what he's got going on. So he's got the kitchen sink set. He's working on the trap now. He's got the slop sink set. And basically it's just running out the back of the wall here. And we'll clamp it to that stud and we'll secure it to the slop sink so it doesn't go moving around and fall out at some point. Then he's gonna put the trim kit on here and he's gonna set the water lines and the trap for the vanity. And while he does that, I'm gonna prep this chimney and trim it out today and get that brick sealer on there. All this extra stucco that's on here, I'm gonna brush off and kind of chip some of this off. And then I'm gonna hit it with some brick sealer, which will give it like a matte finish. And then what I'm thinking is I'm gonna baseboard around the bottom so it follows the room. I'm also gonna do a really small crown molding that's gonna go up both sides and then around the top. And I'll probably have to do some, maybe some notching for this access trim. Or I may put a small piece of pine so it matches the three quarter for that and crown the whole thing which I think may actually be a little bit easier. So I may end up doing that. Now I'm gonna be brushing a lot of this brick right now. And if you're doing this when your floors are down, especially carpet, you definitely wanna put something down. And that's not just to catch any of the loose stuff that falls, but the powder that's gonna come off the brick, if you're using a really coarse brush or a wire brush, dyes everything red. I learned that mistake in our duplex because I had the baseboard down already when I started to drill holes in the brick to hang some stuff. And the brick dust fell onto the caulk that I had on the top of the baseboard and the baseboard itself, and it just dyed it red. 
I could not get it off. I scrubbed it, everything. We ended up having to repaint over it. So to avoid ruining anything or having to redo work you've already done, just cover everything up. It's so much easier. All right, so I'm gonna start sealing this up. I used their concrete brick and tile sealer. I used this on the chimney and the duplex, and I have this left over actually still, so we got this for nothing. I just put it on this bottom corner to see what it looks like for right now. When, it, when it's wet, it gets a little bit darker, but as that dries, it'll, it'll lighten back up, and uh, when you rub your hand over it, you'll be able to tell that there's that sealer on there. This chimney came out looking so nice, and what's nice about this sealer is all of this cement it, it won't dust off after. It almost acts as almost like a glue too to, to seal that in. So you're not getting dirty, nothing's flaking off. Um, I am going to crown both the right and left side and then across the top also. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is, because that's three quarter trim, put a small piece of three quarter pine there, run baseboard around the bottom, which is also three quarter, run some three quarter pine up with a small miter on the end, and then run my crown on top of that. So I can run my crown from the top all the way to the bottom without any gaps behind it. So I'm going to, I started wrapping base now. I'm gonna wrap this chimney side, and once I wrap that chimney side, I'll be able to start working up. Love how this countertop turned out. Hugo from Boss Granite, awesome guy. They came in here and blew this out, and it looks absolutely beautiful. I love it, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but in the next episode, we are hitting that punch list. So subscribe, comment, like, and follow us along on Instagram at Rentals12. Bye, guys.